All right, today is the 17th of October and um, got a great week ahead uh, weather-wise, so decided that I would uh, call Dad and uh, go see him in Southern California. So I'm about two hours into my drive. I uh, left the house at 6.30 and uh, it's about 8.30 in the Warm Springs Reservation. This is the uh, put-in for the Deschutes River, a uh, real popular uh, place for all the guys to go fishing. So, sun's up. It hasn't crested the canyon yet. As you can see, it's uh, hitting the, uh, the hills on the other side of the river. So, got a long drive. Gonna try and do about 630 miles today. Um, and it's gonna be beautiful weather. Okay, well let's see, it's uh, 1120 and we've made it to a little town, it's got a great little rest stop, um, at, uh, Summer Lake, which is about ooh, halfway between uh, Lapine and uh, Lakeview, and it's a great little rest stop, I've come here before, kind of give you a little uh, tour of it, um, it's a big kind of swampy lake that goes out onto some salt flats and um, yeah just a real pretty little um, area to stop. There's a uh, memorial to uh, uh, Fremont Memorial that had uh, Captain uh, John Fremont and uh, Kit Carson um, as uh, that came through here back in the back in the 80s so yeah just having a cup of coffee and um, a sandwich that Mary made me so been on the road for let's see left at 6 30 11 15 so almost five hours and uh, uh, gone through about 300 miles so um, it's beautiful just hardly any traffic out on highway 31 no trucks which is great and uh yeah just bikes running great and just purring along so um all right lunch talk to you guys later Well, Sunday morning. Um, man, what a trip yesterday. This is my view from uh, my tent. I am on uh, Highway 97, just um, at Independence. Um, you take a left, or excuse me, a right going south, and then cruise up into the mountains, and uh, yeah, that's the view from all the smoke. And here's uh, the tent set up for the morning or last night when I got in at 10 o'clock. So, making some coffee right now, having an oatmeal, and a Mare Bear cookie, pumpkin, I believe. So, uh, this morning, uh, it's about, oh gosh, 7.30 on Sunday the um, 18th of October which is my uh, beautiful wife and I's uh, 40th anniversary so happy anniversary honey um, yesterday was quite the day after I got off the phone with Mayor I was about 30 oh by maybe 30 miles out from uh, where I was supposed to camp that night and got there and only to see that uh, California had closed all of the uh, campsites in the Sierras due to the fire and as you can see from the scene behind me there's uh, still a lot of smoke in the air so I get it uh, unfortunately they must have caught a whole lot of people off guard because every single town I rolled through for the next 200 miles um, uh, every hotel was full so I was uh, ready to just check in and uh, and do a little hotel camping but uh, I ended up driving about 802 miles for the day and got to the BLM camp um, 
dispersed camping site that I'd used a couple um, earlier this spring with uh, coming down to see dad. So it was still here. I'm in the exact same spot. My fire pit's just right over there. So I'm glad I had it and knew where it was. But uh, man, that was uh, that was a lot. I didn't get camp set up till 10, 1030. Um, had a tequila, sat in my chair for a little bit, and just tried to decompress and uh, went to bed at uh, uh, about 11 so um, all's good um, had a good night's kind of sleeping off and on I woke up about four and uh, rolled over and then the next thing I knew it was seven so I was tired but uh, yeah quite the ride the bike was just incredible I stopped along the way had dinner um, made coffee so I'm really glad I've got a great setup for the bike and uh, it made it uh, made it possible. The light setup on the bike, and I'll show you this later, um, is incredible. It just kind of lit up the night. So was lucky that it was dry. was wasn't very cold, um, and uh, there were stars out, and there was very little traffic. So I could just leave everything up on high, cruise about 60 miles an hour, and uh, made camp. So I was very very. <laughs> thankful to get off the bike so anyway uh, we'll take it slow and easy today I'm gonna go for a walk after coffee and oatmeal and just kind of try and stretch before uh, starting to break down camp so I'll show you more when I get down and see dad okay bye today's Wednesday the 21st and today's my last day down with dad Spending time just visiting. We've had a great three days. Uh, Dad looks great. Um, taking care of himself, no problem. There's uh, yards in great shape, and gosh, it's just beautiful down here. So we've really had a good time visiting. Um, went to the pool yesterday, chatted with uh, some of the old guys in the pool, and uh, had quite the conversation. But. Um, no, I, uh, I'm glad I made the trip down, and it's been really enjoyable. Going to head home tomorrow, um, probably get out of here by 6, and uh, get uh, pretty close to Alturas, which is about 600 miles uh, to a campground that I've used there a couple times. So I've enjoyed my time, and uh, it's been good. So I'll try and get Dad on tape a little later this evening with a beer, and uh, we'll catch up. Uh, uh, so we can pass on his uh, hellos to the rest of the family. So talk to you soon. Well, plate this is absolutely perfect. It's got to be like 75 degrees right now. It's 75 to 80. And it's 81. Yeah, you you just get comfortable with this oh, kind of yeah. weather. It's just great breeze. Sun's going down, sitting on the golf course. Doesn't get better than this. I was really proud of an outfit that I picked out for really quite proud of it. Good looking. And I'm sure it was it was maybe she thought it was too young for her. Yeah. I thought she would look just fantastic. Nope. Take it back. You always get store credit, Dad. Pardon? You always got store credit. Well yeah, but it, you know. Well Dad, since I got you on camera and we're doing a little why don't you tell one of your favorite stories just about about mom. About who? Oh, about mom? Yeah. I'll have to give it a <clears throat> Well, I think my favorite story about your mother is the fact that after the first football game, when we were in high school, got through the game and went up back to the school. And I'd spent my junior year chasing lots of skirts yeah and uh, didn't have any reason to change and walked into that dance and a typical high school dance the guys are over on one side the girls are over on the other and of course I walked over there and saw this new girl thought she was just perfect and I was so impressed with her when I asked her to dance and she stepped forward and she felt like I'd been holding her forever. Yeah. 
there you go. It was just a, a magical moment. And I don't know why, but it, it was. Uh, and it was the Savior because I needed a girl instead of what I was doing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> she, and I, I chased her until she caught me because I had given up chasing her because she wasn't giving me the time of day. But as soon as I stopped chasing her, she caught me. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I did instantly uh, claim her as mine and she didn't mind. But it took her a while to... Sally Edmiston told me one of the last times we were together at Ben, she said, well, you don't realize he said, she said, you probably don't realize how many times I came out because you were at lunch hanging out with the guys. Joyce would send me out to see if you were, if I was around. You know, and I, because that was the, the, the part of the time that I had kind of given up. Yeah. I had given up because she wasn't, she wasn't giving me the time of day. As I say, yeah. uh, good old Sally Edmiston. Well, it, yeah, so Joyce and Sally, and damn, I've forgotten Sally's sister's name. They were twins, and they both came to school at the same time at, as newcomers. Oh, is Sally, that right? Sally and, Sam, her, yeah. and her sister, and they kind of entered the front of the school at the same time. And they they both thought somebody they thought maybe Joyce knew what was going on where to go and what not yeah. and she she said no I, you know my first day here too yeah and because of that they bonded fairly well yeah uh, and another story about Joyce uh, in those days the girls had a, a swimming class. I forget the, the, the female teacher, but Joyce didn't think, she thought the water was for drinking and bathing, but <laughs> not for getting okay. in. But of course, being from the date that they were, and probably all the, they, the school had, they had swimming suits. Right. But they were the old wool baggy things. Yeah. And Joyce, Joyce uh, number one, didn't didn't like the idea of swimming, and she did sure as hell didn't like. She put that swimsuit on once and said, "Nobody's ever going to see me in this." Yeah, and uh, so she flunked that class. <laughs> how do you how do you flunk a, a swimming class? A swimming class. Yeah. Made it to uh, camp and uh, have just a little tiny wood stove fire going. Uh, supposed to get pretty chilly, got everything set up. Um, there's a couple guys with deer camp set up here, but nobody's here, so um, they must have gone back to Portland or back to wherever they were from. But anyway, so yeah, beautiful night. Going to get down into the uh, low 20s, so <laughs> which is uh, not what I'm looking forward to. But we'll get a we'll get a campfire going tomorrow morning, and um, yeah, get some coffee going and uh, try and stay warm while it warms up. So anyway, good ride. Uh, Dad's doing good. Talk to the mayor. She's doing good. So. Perfect, uh, perfect day. It really is. Perfect day. All right.